thank you all for joining this call. First of all, I want to say uh, that uh, the United States uh, regards uh, Nigeria as one of the two uh, most important countries in uh, sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, with a population of 155 million people, it is the most populous state on the uh, continent. It is also a major uh, a contributor uh, to UN peacekeeping, to stability, and to economic prosperity in the West African subregion and to the United States. Uh, it is uh, one uh, of the largest uh, sources and suppliers of crude oil, uh, ranking sometimes uh, fourth or fifth uh, in uh, the order of its importance to uh, our imports. It is the largest supplier of sweet crude to the United States, and uh, American oil companies are major, major investors uh, in uh, production and exploration in Nigeria. Nigeria is a key and important state, and a state that is currently serving as a key member on the UN Security Council, non-permanent member of the UN Security Council. Its voice in Africa, its voice in West Africa, its voice among the, the uh, non-aligned states is particularly important for us. And therefore, these uh, elections uh, that will begin uh, on you know, Saturday, uh, April uh, the second and run for three consecutive weeks are also uh, important to uh, the United States. Promoting democracy and human rights is the highest and most important priority of President Obama's foreign policy agenda uh, towards uh, Africa. President Obama underscored uh, that point uh, when he went to Ghana in uh, July of 2009 and spoke to the Ghanaian uh, parliament. He said then uh, that it was uh, critically important uh, for uh, Africa to develop strong uh, democratic uh, institutions, uh, good governance, uh, and a respect for the rule of law. Uh, the era of uh, big man uh, politics uh, in Africa should be history, and behind us, it is good, strong institutions which are important and most important. The elections coming up over the next three uh, weeks in Nigeria provide a tremendous uh, opportunity for the people uh, of uh, Nigeria, the most populous nation. Uh, on the continent to hold fair, transparent, and creditable elections. It's an opportunity for uh, the Nigerian people to elect their local, state, and national representatives in a uh, climate free of violence uh, and intimidation. It is also absolutely uh, essential uh, that Nigeria uh, hold better uh, elections uh, in April of 2011 uh, than it held uh, in uh, 2007. Uh, the uh, elections uh, in Nigeria in 2007 uh, were uh, deeply flawed and, uh, in fact, uh, were uh, poorly administered uh, and poorly run. They, uh, in no way, uh, reflected uh, the ability uh, uh, and the capacity of, of, of uh, Nigeria to organize and run successful uh, elections. We uh, are looking uh, for Nigeria to substantially improve uh, its uh, election management and processes in 2011, uh, making them better than 2007 and, uh, and making them, if they uh, can be, uh, 2003. The trajectory of bad elections must be reversed uh, in this cycle. We're urging the political parties and the government to allow uh, all registered voters to uh, participate freely in a peaceful and transparent process. Uh, the nation's political leadership and those who aspire to lead must refrain from engaging in inflammatory rhetoric or supporting acts of intimidation. Violence uh, has no place in a democratic society or in a democratic electoral process, and all of the country's leaders, irrespective of their, of their uh, party affiliation, uh, their regional background, must work uh, to do everything they can to make these elections as free of violence uh, and intimidation uh, as uh, possible. These elections are also critically important 
because if they do not uh, work well, uh, Nigeria's uh, citizens, who are enormously optimistic about these elections, will in effect lose the credibility and confidence uh, in their elected leaders. They will lose confidence uh, in uh, the uh, government institutions that these elected leaders are supposed to be running, and they will lose confidence in democracy. It is absolutely important uh, that that not happen. This is an opportunity for uh, Nigeria to uh, demonstrate uh, its uh, capacity to manage and hold the democratic uh, elections, which are the desire of the people. Last comment, uh, Professor uh, Jega, uh, the election commissioner, uh, has done uh, an outstanding job of uh, managing uh, this process and helping to reshape uh, an election commission uh, whose reputation had been deeply tarnished uh, by the uh, leadership of his uh, his predecessor, Maurice uh, Iwu. Uh, we have uh, worked uh, very hard uh, with uh, Professor Jaga through USAID, uh, through both technical assistance and funding uh, to help him uh, put together uh, the uh, required elements to uh, run uh, an election. We hope that all of those around uh, him uh, will follow his uh, able leadership uh, and uh, be able to execute the kinds of things uh, he wants to do to make this a success. We are looking very closely uh, at the state level officials uh, and to make sure that they know uh, that their activities are being scrutinized as closely as those uh, of the activities on the national level. They need uh, to work uh, with Professor Jaga and the election commissioner at all levels, but particularly at the state levels, to make this a success.